Ruth here, and this is this month's Wizarding World crate. Um, yeah, I totally forgot it was coming. But um, as you um, see the sticker thing, which unfortunately kind of, kind of crumpled, but there we go, that's the sticker. So you want to keep all of them. And as you see, um, maybe this is a lot smaller box than the last time. So hopefully it's got good stuff in it. And this month's theme is, um, I think it was The Beast Within, I'm pretty sure. And the next one for in two months' time is, I believe, uh, it's either Quidditch Through the Ages or something to do with Quidditch, I think. So let's see. Ooh, now that is nice. That's the cover, as you know. Uh, the Fantastic Beasts. Uh, um, Fantastic Beasts uh, book cover thing. Like the original cover thing. So that's nice. I am going to keep that and cut it out and keep it. I mean, it's cardboard. I can easily stick it to my wall if I actually have wall space somewhere. So yeah, anyway, um, this is very... Okay, um, let's do the shirt first. As you know, Loot Crate exclusive. And this is... Crazy little thing. And it's large. Oh, made in Honduras. 100% cotton. And all that. Ah, nice. There is a very nice looking one. You can see, maybe. It's got like a snake there. And it's, it's a head of somebody. Right there. Okay. Sure, that is the shirt. It does feel a bit different than the other shirts. It's like, I'm not sure how to describe it. It just feels different. It's a bit more scratchy than like the polyester ones or whatever. And it just feels weird. Doesn't smell like the other ones either. But anyway, I can't remember if the other shirts were 100% cotton too as well. But I'm not sure. So let's put the shirt off to the side. And this thing is just sitting up here. So what is this? It's a. It says Kelpie mug on it. And watch your fingers. So it says there. And let me push this back a bit. It says Kelpie mug. That's what it looks like. Interesting. Features. Um, clear glass mug, 12 ounces, officially licensed, loot crate exclusive. So let's have a look see, shall we? I mean, at least it's bubble wrap. And it's got like loot crates. How to care for your new drinkware. Make sure you clean the glass before use, first time. Before first time use. Do not microwave, do not, not dishwasher safe. Hand wash only. Can wash with warm soapy water. Safe from 32 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, Fahrenheit? Okay. This item is breakable. Mm -hmm. Use caution when handling. Do not use if it has been dropped or cracked. Not intended for use by children. So. And there it is. Healthy. Okay. Not a I think you're looking forward to. Okay, so that's where we have it. Put that back in. Nice and safe. Okay, so let's see how it comes. Oh, it's 
from the left and it's that. So that's that. So if it was a Niffler on it or something else, I'd be like, I'll pour it, but it isn't. Okay, so what else have we got in here? Oh, look at that. Mini Niffler things. Made in China. But it's... It's one of them slow rising nifflers. Awesome! <laughs> so we got this normal black one here. And we got this one. <laughs> Oops. Then we got this brown one. Baby Niffler Squishy Set. I, I couldn't read it before because the Nifflers were covering it. Well, that's awesome. Sorry about that. The uh, battery died on me. Not me realizing it. So, next thing. Oh, uh, the last. Is it the last two things? Yeah, it seems the last two things is. The pin and this. French Ministry print. It's more of a metal wall thing, really. Not really a print. I mean, did you hear that? But, um, yeah. French. So, slightly disappointing. But, understandable since. Fantastic piece. Crimes of Grindelwald is a lot of it's based in Paris, is it? So yeah. So understandable, but still slightly disappointing. I do like that the, the arch on the back. So that is not it's very nice thing. So yes, the beast within. Take off on a whirlwind journey through the streets of Paris from the comfort of your own home. Celebrate the small screen release of Fantastic Beasts, The Friends of Grindelwald with this great shirt to please the beast within. Slightly disappointing this time, but I like the squishies and probably the pin. I haven't looked at it yet, but yeah, that's, and then I guess the shirt's okay, but that, that, that's it. Totally kind of disappointed on this one. So, um, French Ministry sign, and content, and, uh, yeah, I can't read French. Um, when Paris is miles away, bring the magic of the city lights to you with the beautiful French Ministry sign. Pin sign. Ah, oh, I see. By the way, I haven't actually watched Crown of Old yet, so that's probably why I didn't recognize the silhouette. But now that I think about it, it's obvious. It's a Maledictus t-shirt. Nagini, a performer at the circus Arcanus, is the carrier of a rare blood curse that will eventually turn her into a snake forever. Wear this tea whenever you wish to undergo a dark transformation. Okay. Kelpie tempered glass mug. Not all of us can keep a Kelpie in our basement like Nuke, but we can all brew a nice cup of Take your tea time to fantastic new heights with, kelp, with help from this Kelpie mug, which reveals a secret message when you finish your drink. Review. Now that is interesting. However, I don't drink tea or coffee, so I wonder, does it have to be hot water? Possibly not. Baby Niffler Squish Stress Toy Set. Okay, well, I mean, it's only called Baby Niffler Squishy Set. Why is it a stress toy set? <laughs> uh, mine, 
Lending nifflers can be a tricky business. Luckily, these are much more well behaved than the real thing. Care for your own broody, no, brood of baby nifflers. It could be broody too. Uh, with this set of four squishy stress toys. I mean, it's not technically only stress toys. I mean, people just don't do dust to stress out. I mean, it's more of a slow rising stress toy than, than a normal. Because stress balls are very tough when you squeeze them, actually. Okay, so next is the pin. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, by the way, this is the full t-shirt, if you couldn't really see it when I was holding it up. Anyway, here is the pin. Okay, so what is it? Ooh, it is a Metagot. Interesting. Slightly creepy looking, but still interesting. And it's like, um, it may look purple in the camera, but I'm pretty sure it's black. Or it's a very, very, very dark purple. But I can't really see the purple unless it's through the screen. So, it could be either. So let's see what this says. The next pin in our Magical Creature series is a Metagot. A feline spirit from French folklore used as a security as security by the French Ministry of Magic. Okay, that's interesting. Let's have a, a creepy creature crawling around in the dark. Yeah, anyway, that is it. So, um, it is a pretty cool pin. Slightly creepy than what I usually would look at. I mean, even if that even if the are supposed to be creepy, it was a really pretty pin though. And this one is like pure like matte and not glittery like the Destro was. Anyway, that's it. So lunch um which one was your favorite? I mean I'm I'm going to sell that. But um and probably the Kelpie mug. Maybe. I'm not sure if my sister likes Kelpies, but she's got plenty of mugs anyway. But I'm definitely keeping this. I just keep put it back in the thing so I can take my pictures after. But I'm gonna set this up around the desk. Um yeah, so I'll be putting this up on my pin board with the rest of my pins. But yes, that is everything. So like which one was your favorite? Oh yeah, by the way, that's what the French tin sign looks like. Um, but yeah, my two favorites were obviously these two. I mean, that's okay as well, but yeah. So basically, it was a pretty disappointing box this time. Maybe I mean something a bit more, had more oomph in it or something, I'm not sure, but slightly disappointing this time. Hopefully next time isn't as bad. It is Quidditch related, so it's probably going to be okay. Personally, I'm not really a sports person in general, but we shall see. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ring the door with the notifications. Over and out.